Hello everybody, this is 3-3 Readings and this reading is going to be for Taurus. Taurus, let's see what are the messages that pop out for you. Let's see Taurus. Make sure that you check your signs for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And then proceed. Also know that the energies I speak about are completely interchangeable. Let's see Taurus. What are the messages for you? Okay, so Ten of Swords. Three of Pentacles. Some of you could be trying to figure out a way to come out of, come out of a situation that was quite hurtful. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Leo. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. At the bottom is this. So what I see is that um, you had a lot to give in a certain situation, Taurus, and you gave in a lot. But, but you didn't really receive what you gave. And now I just see you in that zone where you might have given up on this. You don't, you don't even want to save it because there's no fight left in you for this, see? Two of Swords, you're completely closing off to somebody. Taurus. You could be dealing with a Capricorn with that devil. So, um, well, there was lack of collaboration here. There was lack of coming together and working things out because you were the one who was always making things happen, but this person wasn't. So one person in the equation was very immature in their behavior while the other one wasn't okay let's see though five of swords oh okay so i feel like whatever you were hoping and wishing for it didn't really come taurus um you you really wanted this emotional fulfillment with this person but it didn't happen somebody kept you waiting they were very slow in their pace and i see some sort of a deception here i i i, I see you gave up you gave up on something taurus with an air sign possibly but could be any sign though but what i see is that you were searching for your emotional fulfillment but it wasn't there with this person so you gave up there was some sort of a pettiness in the past for you and you came to a point where you were like, I don't even want to deal with this anymore. You know? Let's see. What are the messages for Taurus, please? Okay. You're really trying to hang in there, Taurus. Because I feel like right now you're not feeling the very best. We have the devil again. So you're not feeling the very best. You're not feeling on top of everything right now. Uh, like things could be burdening you, things could be stressing you out, but Wheel of Fortune is here, it flew out, so I'm going to take it. What the reading and the energy is telling you is to hang in there because things will get better. Uh, things do normally get worse before they get better, okay? So now, right now, things could be in the air for you. Maybe with this person, the situation was very unclear. You were never sure where this was going, um, but things were quite up in the air between the two of you and you waited. You waited for a decision, but it wasn't there because this person is way too immature. Now with that wheel of fortune, I see things happening for you eventually. It's going to take some time. So right now you're feeling a little bit sad and low, um, dissatisfied because you really wanted growth and i feel like you really searched for a person who you can grow with you can expand with but it just wasn't there you know in the in the back of your mind all you still want is still a commitment and a strong relationship with somebody that you can grow share a lot with but it wasn't there so i feel like you're trying to hang in there you're really trying to um see the better to the things you know so I feel like you will walk away from something in order to pursue something better. Uh, in this time period, it, it, to me, the word transformation is coming because you might have seen a lot of changes happening in your life. Um, 
will, which will completely change how you view things. So you get the Six of Cups. This is a return of a past person, though, with the Two of Cups. Okay, somebody from the past could be coming in. But what I see is that you're all about better things, you know? Let's see, though. Temperance. Some of you are really putting a thought into things. The outcome is the tar here. So let me put one more card for the outcome and then we'll clarify for you. The emperor. Some You could be dealing with an Aries. Uh, somebody's still going to be bossy. Somebody's still going to be rigid. They don't back down. We have the devil again. So devil really wants to pop out. Maybe this is some toxic addictions. Maybe... It's just somebody who comes in for sex and then leaves. Um, it's up to you, okay? You would know better. But what I see is that you expected something else out of this person, but they were completely different. And you, you came to know about it, that there is somebody that I'm dealing with who's immature, and I am not. And this person is maybe not looking for what I am looking for. So you're, you're really hoping and wishing for this person to boss up. Because otherwise, you don't see the point in dealing with this. Uh, and I feel like some of you are really taking your time to decide to, to really... I feel like you're trying to guide yourself out of these dark times because you know that you can. You're really trying to stay balanced. You're really trying to have patience and really still look at the positive side to things because there was something that was quite hurtful in the past but you're still choosing to believe that there's somebody better out there you're still choosing to believe that things can turn out for the better for you taurus which is good um some of you could be dealing with a sagittarius virgo capricorn aries pisces were here, was here too could be a libra as well but what i see is that if you deal with this immaturity all you're going to get is this tower moment again. So it's, things may result in this again. I do see that this person might have ghosted you, deleted you, blocked you because they just, they're very rigid. Maybe this person owns a business or is in a powerful position. Maybe that's just their ego. I don't know, but they're seeming across as a very rigid person and immature. You are quite thoughtful these days you're spending your time thinking about what you did wrong and what you can improve and really focusing on the better but what the message here to me is that the energy is requiring for you to be patient and believe that divine timing is working for you okay things will change for the better things could be changing for for you in your life rapidly you know it's not even giving you a chance to wrap your head around it. So let's see. What is the energy moving forward? New beginnings. Fresh start. Oops. Two more for Taurus and then we're going to look into your person. Two more for Taurus, please. All right, so there's a passionate love offer that comes your way. I feel like <clears throat> there's a new beginning coming in towards you, Taurus. So there is somebody who likes you a lot, apart from this person who was immature. Uh, if you have somebody around you, okay? You would know. If you don't, I, do, I, I just do see a love offer coming in for you. Somebody rushing in to communicate with you. Um, some cards fell, so let me see. See, Seven of Cups came again. What I see is that uh, things could be up in the air between the two of you. There's a lot of confusion. I did see that in the pre-shuffle. See, there's a lot of confusion. There's a lot of um, stuck and stagnant energy right now. You're, you're not feeling the very best. And you're unable to let this person go. The Empress is here again. So what I see for you, Taurus, is that there's somebody... First of all, there's a lot of communication um and i see you being confused about it because you don't know if you want to do this right now because of the past situation 
What's the energy for the specific person for Taurus, please? This is pretty much your outcome here that somebody's going to be communicating. It's a, oh, hermit came again. It's a, it's a big energy here. You, you could be taking a lot of time to spend alone, to contemplate on things, to really see what is it about and a decision. You're making important decisions in your life right now uh, to release negativity and to move on to bigger, better things. But what I see is that there's somebody rushing in to communicate with you. I see possibly see a new person. Um, and I see that you're dealing with a lot of things all together in your life. So there's a lot that you're dealing with. Two of ones and the six of pentacles. There's somebody definitely coming back or coming to pursue you. Um, but this is the two of ones is your energy. First of all, this person is quite slow, but you're going to be shocked with their pace this time because there's somebody rushing in to communicate. And for some of you, I'm getting two people. If you have two people, okay? If you don't, this is probably not for you. But um, what I see is that there's somebody coming in to communicate, but you're not sure if you want to give in to this. And I also see you spending more time with your friends and family. Okay, Taurus. So let's see, what are the Oracle messages saying for you? What are the Oracle messages for Taurus, please? It's going to be your season soon, so let's see, Taurus. I see things changing for the better, honestly. You could be feeling heavy, but it's not going to last forever. What are the messages for Taurus? What are the messages? Okay, be bold and make the first move. Hold your vision. Prosperity lies ahead. That's your own card. Believe in impossible. Those are too many cards. Let me shuffle again. Prosperity lies ahead, Taurus. That's definitely your own message here. See? I feel like things are changing for the better for you. Like I am telling you, believe in impossible. Things will change for you. Divine timing. This is the universe working in in your favor, but you, all it is requiring for you to do is to be patient, okay? Don't rush in, especially with this. What are the messages for Taurus, please? Fiery climax approaches. It's time to release negativity. A personal issue reaches, reaches resolution. Okay, it's time to release negativity, isn't it? That's when you will attract better. Where are the love messages for you? Let's see. Where are the love messages? Okay, true love. All right, let's see. Where are the messages? Codependency, whoa, and deception. I feel like you were the one in true love, but the other person seems to be love yourself first at the bottom. Codependency is talking to me with the devil because devil popped out quite, quite a few times in the reading. What I see is that there's definitely one person is way too involved and the other one is not. And the other one is a little bit immature by a little bit. You would know how much, but. They show you something else and they are something else. So they could be lying to you about something, keeping you in the dark about something. Be careful because this person is going to be returning to you. They're going to be very expressive, very lovey-dovey. Things are still going to be up in the air between the two of you. I don't see them being serious, but that's your own choice. For some of you, this person is very in and out. And this could be a friends with benefit that this person is looking for, but that's not what you are looking for maybe. I don't know. With the devil, I just see, oh, seven of swords. Sneaky person looking back to see what they can get out of you. Be careful about that. But that's up to you, okay? Maybe you want to do that. That's your own choice, okay? But what you expect out of this, this person doesn't. That's all I want to tell you, Taurus, okay? Um, be careful with that. I do see things are changing for you rapidly in your life. And you'll see that. You'll see. All right, Taurus, so that's it. That's all that I had for you. I hope you got the message and you liked the reading. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel for personals. You can check out the description for the details. 
take very good care of yourself and bye-bye.